Edie, Edie, hand me up them drawing pins. Let's get this black paper up to the window, get it right once and for all. I hope they'll prick my finger again. Oh, that's the fourth time. I'll blow the blooming black out. And if that's that air raid warden come round to tell me about my light still showing, I'll tell him what he can do with this tin helmet. All right, all right, I'm coming. Now, you needn't tell me there's a light showing because... That... Daisy, Daisy, it's oh, me. Hello, hello, Gert. <laughs> Couldn't see you in the blackout. Oh, I found you at last. I haven't seen you for weeks. No, we moved again. Moved again? What are you talking about? You're still here. Well, as a matter of fact, things got a bit sticky and we evacuated ourselves, if you must know. Oh, I see. I suppose Bert's had another row with the landlord. Yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah. Hitler was a paper hanger, wasn't he, Gert? Hitler? Mm. Oh, that's what they say. Our landlord's a paper hanger, too. <gasps> Blimey, they're all the ruddy same, aren't they? Well, to come down to it, we owed the landlord five pounds ten. And in the end, he said, I suppose I shall have to forget half of that. Bert said, all right, I'm a sport, I'll forget the other half. Yes, yeah, so what about the arrears? Are you paying them off? Yes, yeah, shilling a week. Lovely. Cheaper than rent. But you'd have to pay your rent as well. Blimey, whose side are you on? <laughs> well, I can't make it a tale of it. When did you move? On the night of the blackout. Mm. Bert said he knew the way, you know, Mr Cleverington, so he led the horse. What with the dark and one thing and another, Bert led us back to the house we'd just left, so we moved in again. <laughs> and blimey, we hadn't been here for a couple of days before the furniture man found us. You ought to have heard what he called me. You don't mean he insulted you, Dave? Not half he didn't. But he took it back. What, the insult? No, the furniture. Mm. Still, I was glad to see the back of that sideboard. The glass was so low I never could see the comb here in it. I keep talking about myself for change, don't I? As Wally. Walter. Wally. Walter. <laughs> oh, leave off. Look, he's lovely. I had a letter from him today. Show sure. No. Well, read it out. I'm not going to. Well, read us the first and last bit. No, I'm not going to read you nothing, Dan. Read us a bit out the middle. No. Go on, be a sport. <laughs> oh, well, I'll read you a tiny little bit, see? No looking over. All right. Here we are. My darling Gert, you are the sunshine of my life. You reign in my art. Without you, Gert, oh dear, life will be a dreary cloud. <laughs> I mean, that's not a letter, it's a weather report. I oh, am, my dear. <laughs> Here, we want some help from Wally to finish our air raid shelter off. Yeah. Nearly ready. Bert's ordered the furniture. Six crates of mild ale. <laughs> he calls it his ARP nerve tonic. <laughs> he would. <laughs> See, and then we can use the crates to sit on when they're empty. But what I want to know is, what are we going to do with our lodger? Well, I don't know. You'd have to come into the shelter with you and Bert. What, for 18 and 6 a week? Not much. Unless Bert built it in two floors. And then there's Bert's old granddad, worrying the life out of everybody about his gas mask. Why? Well, it's his whiskers, you see. He doesn't know whether to tuck them inside or leave them outside. Mm, it's just a bit awkward, isn't it? Yes. Has Bert got his yet? Well, he hasn't got it now. They took it away from him to mend it. Mend it? Yeah, well, like, he cut a hole in the middle of it so that he could smoke his pipe through. Oh, dear. Still, he says he gets, he'll expect he'll get it back all right when the war's over. Well, bound to. Don't worry about a thing like that. <laughs> What's the good? Yeah. Laugh a bit and laugh a bit is Bert's philosophy. Take your life and make it just as happy as may be. Waiting round the corner, there may be a slice of luck. He's always looking for it, but he always comes unstuck. If you've got an empty purse, your back's against the wall. Remember, perhaps the other bloke ain't got a purse at all. Work a bit, or better still, don't work at all like Bert. But that's the way he looks at life, yours truly, Dave and Gert. Cheerio, all of this. <laughs>